If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, check the referral link in the description down below. It'll take you to G2A and you can use the code CHES at checkout for an extra discount. Also, to play FIFA and other games for real money, check the link in the description to Gamersaloon.com. Sign up for free over there and go and win yourself some cash. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 39 of the Chelsea career mode here on FIFA 16. We start with a game in the Champions League, a competition we've been doing tremendously well in, in the Wolfsburg series. So we'll be hoping to replicate that form here today. Obviously we lost against Borussia Dortmund, but we're able to beat Anderlecht. So we're sat in a decent position in the group. If we can get a win here at home against AS Monaco, then obviously that would put us in fantastic position to push forward and get qualification into the knockout rounds to try and retain our Champions League crown. Obviously, we won the competition last year in the first season, and we'll be looking to do the same here in the second. They've got Falcao up top, though. Obviously, he was with us last year, and now the loan spell has expired, and he's back with his uh, his French side. And it, the rain is coming down pretty damn hard. As you can see, it almost looks as if it's foggy because it's raining so hard. But uh, they're actually going to start off with the first attack of the game. Lovely through ball through to Radamel Falcao, but uh, luckily for me, his shot went straight at Thibaut Courtois, so we were able to uh, maintain a goal of scoreline for now and then we picked them off and went up the other end Ramirez down the line towards Nathan he's going to turn inside again he's got fantastic dribbling Nathan and then wrap it around the outside back to Bale inside to the Brazilian again Bale gets crunched but Nathan has the shot and unfortunately wide of the target and then a few moments later not actually from that incident where you saw Bale go down and uh, stay down it was a second incident Bale goes down stays down injured and he's going to be out for a while. So we bought Gareth Bale for £50 million in his first game, the European Super Cup final against Monaco, ironically enough. We were able to get the win, but he injured himself with uh, the taking of a shot and was out with a pulled hamstring for four weeks. We play Monaco again, this time in the Champions group stage or Champions League group stage proper, and he injures himself against Monaco, and he's dislocated his shoulder and is going to be out for eight weeks. I think Gareth Bale is made of glass. He just seems to shatter at any given moment and will not stay fit for more than two or three weeks at a time. Hopefully, this will be the last injury he gets and we'll be able to have a fully fit, 100% working shatterproof Gareth Bale that won't get injured again but who knows my luck so far in career mode this year on FIFA 16 as a whole has not been that good so maybe he'll break his leg next time he's had a four-week injury now he's had an eight week so surely the six months is only the next you know logical option but Carlos Bayer breaks into the box here Thomas Callas just turns himself uh, in towards the uh, the path of the ball and just blocks off Carlos Bayer it's not a foul in any stretch of the imagination he's just parked himself in front just Try and out muscle Carlos Vea, give him a little cheeky shoulder bias to get control of the ball. Referee points to the spot, Carlos Vea flops to the floor. 88th minute, Monaco score a penalty straight down the middle. We are 1 0 down at home against the side that we should be in front against because we've had a couple of very good chances. That was never a penalty, and the least we deserve from this game is a draw. So, can we at least get ourselves an equaliser with the last chance of the game? Diego Costa back over the top to Matic, shot is well blocked, and Lopez is going to clear it, but only as far as as Quadrado knocks it back down into the path of Smolnikov. He too is going to turn inside again to Bertrand Traore into Diego Costa. He's going to have a tempted shot, but another very good block. Ball comes away, final whistle goes. I thought he'd blown for a penalty there as Costa went down and the whistle went, but no, it was for the final whistle. And unfortunately, a 1-0 defeat against Monaco in the Champions League. That should have been the other way around fuming that a penalty wasn't or that the penalty was given and uh, we weren't able to get ourselves even a point out of that game and maintain our second in the group stage status so back to Barclays Premier League action we go full strength starting lineup out for this one obviously there are quite a few changes to the starting lineup in the previous game with it coming a few days after the game before that and uh, we had Nathan in there and Smolnikov started and John Stones and Baba and Kalas etc and unfortunately Kalas was on the wrong end of that penalty decision but I won't harp on about it much longer because we're now in the game against Norwich trying to get ourselves in front for the first time in today's episode nice turn by Willian into Diego Costa good save down low by John Ruddy and Pogba isn't quite able to beat 
Sebastian Bassong to the loose ball and they clear it away. So continuing to be on the attack. Willian down the right hand side again. Skips past the challenge. No foul given. Oh no, there wasn't advantage. My bad. Up to Cesc Fabregas. Another brilliant save down low by John Ruddy. I didn't think there was a, an advantage given there, but never mind. We had the chance anyway. Still couldn't take the lead though. Picking the ball off them in the midfield. Paul Pogba plays in Eden Hazard. He's going to go on a nice run actually. Turn inside the defender. The runner Diego Costa drags the defenders away. But another top save by John Ruddy. But we point to the penalty spot. I had no idea what it was given for. Hazard had the shot fine, but as he ducks here to try and get out of the way of the shot, Cesc Fabregas jumps to try and get out of the way of the shot, and he bow, uh, just kind of barrel rolls over the top of the defender. That too was not a penalty, so maybe the luck's turning. We take a 1-0 lead. We lost the last game because of a penalty that wasn't a penalty and finished 1-0. We are 1-0 up in this game because of a penalty that wasn't a penalty, is it going to be enough to give us the win? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I would have... Well, to be fair, I would have. it doesn't matter what competition I want to win anyway, so I don't, I don't suppose it would make sense saying I would have preferred a win in the, in the Champions League and a defeat here because I just want to win every game. But apparently, from open play, we cannot get the ball past John Ruddy. So I made three changes all at once with 15 minutes to go. Pedro Ramirez and Nathan coming on to try and make the impact to give us a second goal if we could potentially get one. They brought on Matty Fernandez. He's obviously the, uh, the Chilean guy that used to play for Fiorentina. And Nathan shows brilliant dribbling again to get the ball inside to Jose Gaia. His cross initially is well blocked. So we turn back inside, brushes off a couple of challenges, gets it to Pedro. Great feet from Pedro and John Ruddy makes the save again. Cannot get the ball past John Ruddy from open play. We didn't even get a free kick there either from Jose Gaia being thrown to the floor. But first game, 1-0 defeat thanks to a penalty that wasn't a penalty. Second game, 1-0 win thanks to a penalty that wasn't a penalty. So can we have a proper game of football then against Crystal Palace away from home at Selhurst Park? Definitely the past couple of seasons in uh, real life, not the easiest of places to go and play your football. They've been very, very solid at home. The atmosphere is fantastic at Selhurst Park. Obviously, they uh, pretty single-handedly, well, not single-handedly, it was uh, the Palace game and the slip from Gerard that denied Liverpool the title a couple of years ago. And we'll be hoping that uh, they won't be causing us any slip-ups in this one to try and, as we try and get ourselves towards the top of the table to go for our own Barclays Premier League title race but hello there's a penalty that wasn't a penalty Jose Gaia again just getting himself between man and ball there's no overly physical act there he's just positioning himself in between man and ball heavy touch from Connor Wickham just tried to turn inside Connor Wickham throws himself to the floor Jose Gaia is a tiny little wing back and he's thrown himself to the floor there Connor Wickham six foot like 12 13 stone worth of uh, Connor Wickham because just flops but never mind Johan Kabay dinks the penalty down the middle that's three games Three penalties, none of which were penalties, and three 1-0 scorelines to this point. We dominated the game against Norwich, had numerous chances on goal, was planning on doing the same in this one, and fingers crossed this time around, we'd actually be able to get the goals that our play deserved and get the win. Still, though, on the attack, couldn't beat Alex McCarthy that time around. Eden Hazard, though, involved again here. Whips a great ball in, Costa with a header, but it's off target, not troubling Alex McCarthy this time around although we uh, continue to be on top a couple of minutes into the second half it's just one way action for the Norwich game and this one Eden Hazard turns inside coming all the way in has the shot another brilliant save by the goalkeeper from open play will try and get it back again they just hoof it clear they were on part of the bus now that they had their 1-0 lead as be into Nemanja Matic forward to Hazard again lovely turn not once but twice skips past another defender has another shot well blocked by Veltman well then, let's see them hoof the ball clear again as they're on part of the bus. Matic tidies up yet again. Picks it into the middle towards Pogba, towards Cesc Fabregas. Bit of space for the shot. Tipped over the top of the bar by Alex McCarthy. Chance after chance after chance. Another corner. Eden Hazard stands it up into the middle. Keeper comes and just demolishes the defender and Paul Pogba. Gaia picks it up though. Beats the man to the ball. Out to Hazard. Corner comes in. Pogba with a header flicks it towards the top corner. But McCarthy gets there first to pluck it out of the yeah, so Palace have a rather rare foray forward in this uh, game. They've obviously come forward once, gotten themselves a penalty. This was their second attack and Sod's Law, second goal. Connor Wickham has the shot. Keeper should have saved it. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. John Ruddy and Alex McCarthy save everything I fire at them. But they have one shot towards the near post and Courtois lets it in. Brilliant. 
Cheers, game. Thank you very much. Diego Costa's going to have another chance here. Another good shot. This one flashes over the top of the bar. Still not able to get ourselves on the score sheet here. Absolutely ridiculous that we haven't been able to score from open play so far in today's episode with the amount of chances and quality of chances that we've had. Ramirez in behind again. Let's try and fire it at the near post, shall we? No, their keeper reacts perfectly well to a near post shot. 2-0, still the scoreline. Going to pick the ball off them again here. Diego Costa's just working tirelessly. Heavy touch by Hunt. Turns his side. Diego Costa with a shot. Well blocked by Scott Dan from the resulting corner then. Nemanja Matic takes it. Pedro's on for Hazard. Up goes Paul Pogba. Another good header on target. Straight to Alex McCarthy. 2-0 defeat in the Barclays Premier League. Wonderful. I was not in the best of moods when I uh, finished recording this particular episode, to be completely honest. And you can probably tell from the way that the commentary has gone. Still not exactly over it by the time I've come to commentate the video or after editing it, editing it as well. We still sit fifth in the Barclays Premier League table, though. Three points away from second. Spurs can go joint second, though, if they win their... Uh, actually, they'll go second outright because of goal difference if they win their game in hand, which judging by the table, looks to be against Hull City. Hopefully they don't win that game in hand, but still, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether that's this series, the My Player series, or the Wolfsburg Career Mode series. There'll be a My Player episode tonight as well, obviously. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.